Hi guys, Samantha from Dressing My Tutorials here, and welcome to day 23 of the Cracklathon. So, today we are going to be creating a crackle with some crackle paste. I used it in a video before, um, I can't remember exactly which one it was, I do believe it was day 10 that we used it. We used crackle paste and we antiqued it with um, pastels to highlight the cracks. So if you haven't already seen that tutorial, go back and check. I will have a link to it in the description below the video. So, to create today's crackle, you're going to need a piece of white polymer clay rolled out on the thickest set of your pasta machine, which is about 2mm thick for me, and you're going to need this crackle paste. Now again, if you do not have this crackle paste, go back and have a look at a bunch of all of the other videos. Uh, I'm sure there will be something there that you will be able to do, even if you only have clay. Okay, so I'm just going to take a bit of that and I'm just going to brush it over the surface. And I don't want it to be too thick, I want it to be thick enough that I'm going to get some nice crackles, but not so thick that it's going to take hours upon hours to dry. So I probably will have about just less than a millimetre thick. And I'm just going to tap around on some areas just to make some areas a little bit thicker so that it's not all one thickness because I want some areas to be interesting. Uh, I want the crackle on the whole to be interesting and the way to do that is to make sure that you have some areas that are thin. So I want a thinner area there, maybe a thicker area here. And try to make sure that there are no brush strokes. Okay. And then that needs to dry for, oh, I'd say, probably about three hours if you don't give it any assistance. Uh, what you can do to give it some assistance in drying so that it speeds up is you can take a hairdryer or a heat gun on its lowest setting and you can uh, use that to cure it. you can see there already that we're starting to get some cracks appearing. At that point I'll put the heat gun or hair dryer away, leave it for about five minutes and then repeat the process. Leave for five minutes, repeat the process and over and over again until it is dry. However you will get a completely different crackle by doing that than if you just let it air dry. So I like to do a mix between the two and I find that gives a really nice crackle. So when this is done we will proceed to the next step. Okay. And here it is. So you can see it looks really quite nice. So now you will notice that there will be some peeling. Um, the cracker will want to peel up off of the clay. Once it has completely dried, grab a piece of plain printing paper and give it a thorough burnish. Like so. And this will stick down that crackle again. If it doesn't Want it, what will happen is either it will crack and lay down or it will just bend and lay down. Either way, it will lie down and you won't have to worry about it. So there we are. You can see that that's much nicer, much flatter. So I'll pick that up and let's see that. So now I'm going to bring over some alcohol inks and we're going to have some fun with this. Okay, so first grab an alcohol ink dabber. I got this from Linda's R Spot. And then I'm going to be using pinata inks and these are the colours that I am using. As you can see. Okay, and just open those away from your clay. And I've mentioned this in previous videos. The reason you don't want to open it near your clay is because sometimes the ink dries around the cap. And when you're opening it, it can um, crack and it will get onto your clay. And that causes a lot of trouble later on. There we are. Alright. So 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the uh, this colour. And I'm just going to put that over the surface. And I'm not pressing too hard. Okay, then we're going to be using this brown. Then I'm just going to move to this darker brown. Or I think it might actually be a lighter brown, we'll see. Yeah, it's a lighter brown. And I'm pressing very lightly because I would like for these cracks to stay mostly white. So just be patient. Don't put too much alcohol ink on. And just dip. And it should create a really pretty crackle and I'm just going over a few times there we go and now it's not going to create a perfect crackle, crackle which is what I want you can see that there are quite a few areas still that um, we did get the alcohol ink in but that's fine um, for the most part though you want it to there is this beautiful white I'm just going to cut that And there is our crackle. Very pretty, very easy, very effective. So, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And be sure to tune in tomorrow as there will be another crackle. I think this is actually our, this is our 23rd crackle. Yeah. So we've only got about 7 more to go. So, uh, remember to vote for this if this is your favourite crackle on my group Jessima Tutorials Polymer Clay Community on Facebook. I'll be having a poll at the end of the month where you can choose your favourite crackle uh, and if this is your favourite uh, let me know in the poll and also the most popular crackle will get a project at the end of the month uh, or next month whenever it happens to come out uh, so be sure to vote for your favourite crackle and if you haven't seen the previous day's crackle be sure to look back because as I said we have about 23 now and that is a lot of different crackles so be sure to check that out and as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.